Speaking of collaborating with a lot of different people, it's definitely one of your specialties. Uh, most recently, you were with Danger Mouse, and um, you know with him a lot. And um, what is it about his style that you that you thought that you would really add to a couple of these tracks on here? Well, I, I got turned on to his stuff with uh, my manager sent me the Gray album. I think at that time where I wasn't doing anything that people were trying to like pull me out of this depression or not, you know, not working by sending me stuff. And uh, I, heard, I heard it had something to do, I didn't listen to it forever. And then I heard something that had something to do, heard that it had something to do with Beatles and Jay-Z, so I finally listened to it. I just, I really loved it. We were on the phone a few days later and just came to my studio the next week. And we, I wanted to, I don't know, I wanted to, um, I heard a lot of like editing and changes in my head with some of the songs that you can't you can't really do with a razor blade and tape right. you know these days it had to be done with a computer and he, he really did some of that cool editing that i couldn't physically do some of those songs that you couldn't you know finish by yourself he was able to come in and help you realize them. um they were most of this stuff was already recorded but did a, a few really cool editing things, like the, the ending of uh, Don't Take My Sunshine Away, like that was always a normal time, and the end of it, kind of like the stadium guitar solo at the end, you know, he, 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 it was his idea to half speed it like that. Nice. Um, and, and how was the dynamics between someone like Danger Mouse or, or Anita from the Cardigans compared to someone that might be a little intimidating like Tom Waits or something like that? Do you have a, a closer relationship with some of them or just yeah. others? I guess a closer... Nina's a really, really good friend. And that, that record, you know, that was begun with... There was just a batch of great songs that were already written. And some of them had already been demoed. And um, I don't know if she knew. She knew what she wanted to do. I mean, as far as the songs went, but, you know, and them, been, them being written, you know, so there wasn't. I didn't have that hanging over my head like that. And had to write, you know. But I guess it's all, you know, it's all, it's all different yeah. with different people. You know, mm -hmm. I'm just, I mean, I'm kind of a fan of all the people that I've got to work with. Is that Christian Fernandez? I'm doing a record with him soon. Are you? Yeah. Oh, that'd be nice. Um, is that intimidating at all to be fans of somebody and then want to show them something you've written? And, yeah. You know, especially Tom. You know, yeah. That was part, That was terrifying. Yeah. But he's great. Yeah. Um, are you also getting together with Brian Burton to create a record also, or is that just rumor? Yeah, we've we've done a little. We haven't really. We don't have a, a substantial amount of stuff down yet, but yeah, we, we, we've only done one session. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure what it's going to be like. That kind of, I, mean, I would like to have it sort of like hip hop records where they have different vocalists for every, every track almost. And just you know, maybe have Nina or Polly sing, sing vocals on some of the stuff. So that's still like a baby idea. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. What, what would you like to see accomplished in, in modern rock, either personally or, or generally? Because now I know that radio is really fickle about what gets played. It's not usually that great. But then the people that do have a lot of talent, they can't play more the radio. So how do you hope to see that, that change in the next years, decades? I don't know. I, I, guess, I guess what I'm doing with Christian, I'd really like to... You know, there's that whole genre of music that just, you know, and people that don't listen, they, they don't listen to anything that even has guitars in it. You know, a lot of the Latin type of stuff that I really like. I, mean, um, I don't know, I'd really like that the record that I'm doing with Christian to be like something that hasn't been done before. If, if I could integrate the pop thing that I do, you know, with, with Christian's expertise and his, you know, great glitches and some of that stuff. And he's from Austria, so it's a lot yeah. different over there. Yeah. The way that they, you know, produce music in the Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it, 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 
but that'll be really fun and interesting, I think. Yeah. Just, you know, recording in the Smoky Mountains and recording in Vienna. Yeah. Yeah. It'll add some flavor to it, definitely. Yeah. When do you think that you'll be able to um, get together with him on a regular basis? Probably after we do. I'm going back to Europe to do some stuff, and we're going to do a little tour together in Italy. Me, me solo with some with like backup tracks and films and, and Christian playing as well. And then we're gonna sit sit in hopefully you know sit in on each other's stuff a little bit. And after that tour, I'm gonna try to start seriously recording. I've done a little bit on. I did some some vocals on his new album. Oh, yeah. uh, I'm not sure when it's coming out. But, I mean, I, I was. It's, so honored. If it comes out, I mean, if you, I hope he uses what I did when yeah. I sang on because I would be so honored to be on the Do you, um, do you like touring or do you feel like this is a, you know, major of the beats that you have to go and do that to be the as well? I used to not, not like it because I've, I never told anybody that I could, could be an entertainer. And for a long time, I just felt guilty about making making a living singing these words for people and doing it night after night after night. I just thought it you know, corrupted and belittled the whole, everything that I did. But I don't know, I think after touring so much and actually talking to people over the years in the audience, and, I'm not so much that way anymore. I, I actually have enjoyed touring, especially recently, you know, I got to have my best friend with me. Yeah, that's good to be good. Alright, well, thank you very much for talking to us. You're welcome.